Welcome to um, Worcester Parlour, a cheese channel, melted cheese. Perhaps that should be the name. It's a new cheese channel, YouTube channel, so uh, we're, we're not quite found the name yet. I thought um, we're in the middle of Tour de France right now and uh, I thought we should talk about a French cheese. Um, France is the sort of the cradle of modern cheese at least. It's not the cradle of cheese, that was Mesopotamia in the Middle East, but um, a modern cheese, France is sort of the, uh, the leading edge uh, where all the traditions, where all cheeses stem from. So, um, and uh, since I talked about the, the uh, Middle East, um, uh, there is a connection to the Loire and the Chèvre or the goat milk cheeses um, because it was the Arabs actually that introduced um, uh, the uh, goat husbandry in, 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 in France back quite a few centuries ago. Um, and when they suddenly abandoned uh, France and, and withdraw they left all the goats and all the equipment or whatever and, and the knowledge as well for the locals to, to carry on and they have done. Um, uh, we're going to talk about a very famous cheese, it's called Balancé, it's um, sort of a little bit east or central Loire and uh, there is a town called Balancé and there is a castle called Balancé. Now that's important in the history of this cheese. Um, because uh, the Valencé um, castle was owned by the French statesman Talleyrand uh, and he is known for, 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 for many things and, and also for negotiating the, the, uh, the uh, peace conference in Vienna in 1814 after the Napoleon Wars and, and he was a marvel. He really did negotiate France uh, being the loser of the Napoleon Wars as uh, to, to a kind of victory in, in those negotiations. So they came out really well. And cheese was a part, of course part of it, but not this one. Um, this uh, goat milk cheese from Balancé, it's of course made from raw milk. Um, it is very mellow in its taste, has a fine acidity as most uh, chef has, because they're uh, rather young, they're lactic, uh, which means th they have fine acidity, um, which will disappear with aging. That appears to all cheeses, so, so that's how, how it is. It's uh, soft, a little bit crumbly, um, but uh, it, 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 it's very likeable. Uh, and of course, it pairs excellently with a Sauvignon Blanc from, from the Loire area, Sancerre, uh, for instance. So, um, a few remarks on the uh, on the shape. Uh, it used to be formed like a, uh, or shaped like a pyramid. Um, but this Talleyrand guy, he 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 was a friend of Napoleon, and Napoleon visited him once after he had had a rather miserable campaign to Egypt, um, and he was served this cheese. Um, and it looked like a pyramid and, and, and Napoleon was very upset so he, he, um, he uh, pulled his, uh, his uh, sword and cut the top of it. So that's why it has this sort of truncated pyramid shape. So that's a funny story. I don't know if it's sort of right but it's a funny story. I mean it's a good story. And most cheeses comes with stories. I mean, there is a story to any cheese. Uh, there is a political decision to any cheese. I don't know if there is a war to any cheese, but cheese, it's far more than sort of um, sort of uh, industry and and uh, farming and and so on. It's it's ah. Cheese is really the thing. So, uh, sort of tasting it, mm. soft, mellow, mm. acidity, just a little hint 
of goat. Uh, many people doesn't like goat, but, but I mean that that belongs to the old ages. Today, goat is kind of reduced, so it's ah, it's really great. And if you have a bottle of of um, Sancerre to drink with it, it's it's great. Um, I had a French teacher once, and she the the the, the, the great moments of her life was when if she could sit on the balcony balcony with a with a chèvre and a glass of Chardonnay in the sunset. I mean, and life was really. Great. She couldn't wish for more. So enjoy your share. It's worth it. Thanks.